Uh, main issues relate to road, lack of infrastructure, particularly down at Redcliffe there's no railway line and uh, more and more people from North Lakes and Redcliffe have to use their cars and congest roads. Things like crime, people are really upset about local hoons and trail backs. Even though they're state issues, um, they do impact on people's lives. Yep. And um, Is this more in the area of Redcliffe? Uh, in Redcliffe, places like Bracken Ridge is graffiti, yep. huge graffiti problems. And um, climate change and environment relating to Moreton Bay, so having a nice clean bay. Um, there's a problem in areas like Contaf with really bad sewage smells. And then, um, you know, people are really concerned about um, climate change and making, di a, you know, a difference to their day-to-day -day lives and, and helping in the greater good, but they want to be able to do it in their own home. The city of Redcliffe is recently affected by the state-led forces. Sorry, I forgot amalgamations. How could yep. I forget that? Uh, yes, it's a huge issue down there. People are very um, upset by the amalgamations. Um, Redcliffe, um, if you've done your research, is the first settlement city, and um, they have a very unique identity, and they are a very um, prosperous council, and they don't they definitely did not want to be merged with Pine Rivers and Caboolture. And it is a big issue affecting probably about 70% of the people down there are against it. So I've been um, running an anti-amalgamation campaign as well. Sure. And although that's a state-led issue, do you think that will impact the way people vote federally? I think it will have an impact um, on people's vote in that they have had no democracy and they weren't asked and it was just imposed upon them. Does Howard's, uh, li you know, in the Liberal Party offer to pay for the AEC to hold plebiscites still stand? Yes, uh, and Redcliffe City Council has taken up the offer of running a plebiscite, so they'll be running it. And I don't have a date because I don't think a date's been decided, but it can be anywhere from the 20th of October onwards, I'd say. Um, I took part in a demonstration with the Noosa, um, Noosa Council, and I've also... Um, lobbied the Prime Minister for months before while the issue was um, while the issue was sort of bubbling along. So before before even before the amalgamation there, there was a lot of work being done behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, housing affordability has been in the media over the last few days. Can I ask what's your response to your colleague um, Peter Lindsay's comments regarding the housing crisis and housing affordability coming down to the financial illiteracy of young people? Um, I don't know in the full... Co so was he saying that it's based on people's um, illiteracy? Uh, in reference to housing affordability, basically he was saying that mortgage brokers had, had told him um, that it's more to do with the financial illiteracy of young people than there being an actual crisis. Look, house prices have gone up. I sort of get mixed, mixed responses from this. Um, everybody wants their house to go up and you know, wants their house to appreciate in value. So uh, people who have houses think it's absolutely fantastic. But then the very same people uh, complain that their children and, um, you know, their children can't get into the housing market and house prices should be lower. And when I say to them, well, does that mean you want your house price to be lower? And they, oh, no, no, I want my house price to be ha high <laughs> so yeah. I want my children to be able to afford housing. Look, it's... Um, there are shortages of housing stock, there's no question about it. Uh, for a long time now, state governments have been very slow to release um, enormous land um, parcels that they have. That's part of the problem. And uh, we, we are a growing state. We've got um, up to 1,500 people a week moving to Queensland from down south. So yep. that's put a... Um, that certainly put, um, you know, some stress on the housing market because when you've got 1,500 people moving, of course it's going to do. Certainly, yep. Um, so you've got so that. So almost it's something it seems we may need to have a bit more national debate about Well, we, we instead of just pointing the finger. Land, and we're asking the state government to release some of the land that they hold tied up. Now, there is a history, and I used to sell defence land for the Defence Department when I was Pulse Set. Mm -hmm. There is a history of state governments um, manipulating land releases um, and they have a very big role to play in letting, you know, in releasing land, and they've been reluctant to do so in the past. Yep. So they manipulate the market quite well. I mean, we, we brought in the first-time buyer scheme, which I thought was fantastic, and I really pushed for it. 
but I don't think doubling that's the answer because all that does is, um, you know, it it doesn't dampen that we're talking about demand here. It doesn't dampen the demand. We have to give people an ability to afford to get into the housing market. And people have suggested tax deductibility on interest on their mortgage payments. And I think mm. um, the fellow from Aussie Home Loans came up with a scheme as well. So I think it needs to be looked in context with all those other things. There's no point doing all this sort of stuff if state governments won't release land and they won't reduce some of the taxes. A colleague of mine just told me he heard you on the radio talking about um, this, how this election will be hyper-local. Can you just explain, you know, what you were talking about when you said that? Yeah, look, there's, uh, it is it is a local election. I, I don't... I don't um, uh, the Labor Party are running a presidential-style campaign where candidates... Um, I haven't seen my candidate for a couple of, couple of months, actually. She only resurfaced the other day. So I've been to a lot of community events and seen her in a... You know, not seen it for a couple of months. It is so they're running it on a presidential vote for Kevin Rudd, and you you get the Labor candidate. Um, we're running it on a local campaign.